Welcome back YouTube. My name is Dennis Panuta for tutorials.eu. In this video, I will show you how you can change the whole setup of your Unity editor. And you can do that in general by going here and you can choose between different layouts. So on the top right hand side, you'll have a button. In your case, it should show default. And there you have multiple different options. For example, the two by three, as you can see now the scene and the game view are on the left hand side and on top of each other, you have the hierarchy, the project and the inspector. Then you have the default view, which is the one that we have used. The four split view where everything is split and you can see you can have multiple scenes. In this case, we have four different scenes which show our scene from different angles or different perspectives. So as you can see, this one shows it from one side, from the right side, this one from the top side, from the front, and this one has a different perspective, which is an angle from the top right corner, for example. Then you have the tall view, which makes the scene view huge and hierarchy and project are on top of each other. And finally, you have the wide view, which makes the scene very big and the other aspects are a bit smaller. I have my own layout here called DP layout and I created that where I have the scene view on the left hand side, I have the game view on the right hand side, the hierarchy and the inspector here on the right and the project at the bottom. And you can go ahead and create your very own setup. In most videos, I will use this layout, but in some I might use the default layout. So please stick with me and try to follow along anyways. Now you can create your own layout. If you, for example, let's go and create an own layout. Let's say we want to have the hierarchy view here at the bottom, which is here at the side. And then what we do want to have is the game and the scene view on top of each other. If we prefer this kind of setup or layout, we can save that layout. So you can go ahead here on the right hand side and save your layout. So go ahead and save the layout as test. And now you'll find the layout here. As you can see, we can go to tall and we can go back to our test layout. So go ahead and play around with the layout that you prefer. You might want to change that later on after having used Unity for a little while. You will see that th some things are more important to you when using Unity at one point and some things are more important when you're using Unity at other points. It very often depends on the situation. And don't forget that you can add windows from here. So under window, you will find the different window views that you could use. So for example, the animator that we are going to use in one of the chapters could be an own view that you want to have. So maybe you want to have the animator view open all the time. And then your game view would be this little area here to left hand side. Maybe you want to have the asset store open all the time and you would put it to the right hand side here even though I can't recommend that because it can use a lot of resources. All right, so you can save your layout anytime after you have changed it to your liking. And then you can also delete a layout if you feel like this is not the right layout for you. So I'm just gonna delete my test layout. So let's do that and let's close our layout tab. Great, so now I'm gonna go back to the default layout and see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please leave a like. And if you have any questions or suggestions, then leave a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And by the way, if you really love the content and you would like to have more of it or pretty much all of it, then of course, check out the link in the description to my whole course. See you in the next video.